Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode number 15 in the book of Revelation. Today, we're in chapter 2, and Jesus is going to have a few things to say to the church in Thyatira. You know, you remember that from Acts chapter 16. That's where Lydia, who is this businesswoman and a dealer in purple cloth, and she became the first Christian in you know, Europe, even though she was from from this part of Asia, in, in, interesting geographically. But anyway, she was from Thyatira. So here's what I'm going to do is read a little bit and then comment on it here today. So to the church of Thyatira and to the angel of the church in Thyatira write, the words of the Son of God who has eyes like flaming flame of fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze comment here now so this is jesus with his wonderful flaming eyes that's my favorite and feet ready ready to do battle and he kind of re-identifies himself in these aspects of this authority verse 19 219 i know your works now listen to this list your love and faith and service and patient endurance and that your latter works exceed the first now this stopping here so this is an amazing uh, testimony and Christianity is often hey do this and then do this there's more here for you to, to consider so this list is quite impressive you guys are lovers that is agape you participate in the love the feast of Christian fellowship Christian care Christian love faith holding on to faith service one of the keys to uh, Christian life and Christian growth patient endurance to your steadfast you're holding on there's a spiritual constancy and not a spiritual wavering and then uh growth that your latter works exceed the first and that's a great marker of true spiritual life is spiritual growth how do you tell if a plant's alive well is it growing is it is a great question and then there's this fe- female bad actor uh jezebel uh, you may, may remember her from way back in First Kings. That was Israel's idolatrous queen. So this person that's named here, her name isn't really Jezebel. This is the nickname for her. And they're choosing like the worst nickname for females in Israel's his, history. She calls herself a prophetess. So she's going to claim words from God and yet uh, doesn't match those words with right action and doesn't match them with connection with God so she is a false prophetess and she's teaching the servants of God to do some stuff and specifically get this she is seducing my servants so she's practicing a teaching and she's practicing a teaching and seducing ministry uh, probably prostitution so she practices immorality and again this bad theology often leads to bad activity with your zipper so there's this close relationship of this particular temptation sexual immorality and wandering away from god and her like the uh, previous churches that jesus has criticized and also going against what was said in the jerusalem council uh letter that she's been uh eating food sacrificed to idols and i suspect there there was some idol worship here as well all right so jesus says i have this against her Verse 20, but I have this against you. So this is the non-Jezebel people. I have this against you, that you tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols. I have this against you. So here, the rest of the church of Thyatira is also in a pickle because they are tolerating uh, something they should not be tolerating. So spiritually, tolerance is not a a virtue. One of the commentators I read this morning, J. Ramsey Michaels, wrote a book on Revelation, commentary on Revelation, and he said, for some people today, tolerance is the only real virtue, and intolerance is the only vice. And Jesus here is flipping that. He is calling and saying some stuff is not okay. That you let loose, Jezebel, let loose something that should be bound, that you should stand against her. 
So Pergamum had a, uh, a church that Jesus had already commented about in chapter 2. Similarly, had an evil within that was not, uh, that was tolerated and not dealt with. So God is coming to war against them. And in the meantime, I have this against you. So there's kind of two bad actors here. One is the church of Thyatira for tolerance. And then, of course, Jezebel for hers. He says about her, I gave her time to repent. And what person of us, w without time to repent, nobody would be in the kingdom. But what she does here is a continual refusal. She makes a practice and pattern of sinning, as was described in 1 John, and has an ongoing commitment to it. There's no sense of repentance, of grief, or agreement with God. Uh, so teaching point here is don't refuse the correction of God. Embrace your conviction and let the Lord keep you on a short leash so that we can humbly walk as it is at his side. Let's value the relationship so much with him so not to stray, or if we do stray, not to stray far. It's the Lord's correction. It is a gift here to Jezebel, and she refuses it. Verse 21, I gave her time to repent, but she refuses to repent of her sexual immorality. Behold, I will throw her onto a sickbed, and those who commit adultery with her I will throw into great tribulation, unless they repent of, of her works. I will strike her children dead. So name someone here, a friend of yours, anybody, who's you know, perfectly without sin in the sexual category. It's never happened. Um, you don't know anybody like that. So how does anybody get into heaven? Well, by repentance and grief and turning. Let he is he who is without sin. There are none here. So the most amazing, amazing part of this section is that repentance is even available. Repenting of her works, changing one mind, purpose, intent, thinking differently. And then finally, verse 23, And all the churches will know that I am he who searches heart and mind. So let's bow before the one who knows the God who knows and sees and searches he's not deceived our path to repentance or our path to him is by repentance our path with him is reflection and repentance so don't be a refuser like Jezebel be like most of the activities of Thyatira let's love and have faith and service and patient endurance and growth thanks for listening